Good morning everyone. First off, I'd like to say wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year when it comes. I know it's been a quite crappy year this year. Hopefully next year we'll be better. Don't know when, but hopefully. Um I also have to apologise for not uploading any videos. I don't think I've done any this year. Just work's been chaos. I haven't been in the bank much. Just same as everyone else is going through. So, thinking ahead, what I'm going to do this year, this coming year, is I'm going to do a lot of stream revision for Trout. I get asked all the time, tactics, what flies, where to do it, when to do it. So, I'm going to dedicate this year to mostly stream revision. Um, there's a lot of big trout in the rivers in Scotland. Um, especially in the five to seven pound mark, there's plenty of them. You catch them on dries and nymphs every now and again, but to really target these fish, you start, need to start changing your tactics. Steamers is the way forward. The state in the states, they're obsessed with it, especially the Scandinavian countries. They're obsessed with it. It's just we're a bit too traditional here in the UK. Streamer, um, dry spiders, nymphs, especially this Euro nymphing coming in, French leader, Czech nymphing, it's all getting really popular and for numbers, it's absolutely fantastically efficient. I did a day the other year in the French leader, fishing two light nymphs, casting the rising fish, hammering fish, with always a nice fish, up to 18 inch, but I'm back through the next day, the same pools with a five or six inch streamer and had three fish all over five pound. So it is definitely streamer fishing is definitely way to catch the numbers. Not the numbers, the bigger fish. It's not a numbers game. If I went to fish my local river for a week, I would have a few smaller fish, but I would put some money on getting one five pound plus fish from a week. Obviously, it depends on the time of year. Spring is a lot harder going, especially when the water just starting to warm up. You um, fish a lot of jig tight flies, but later on, especially from June onwards, fishing big flies like this, especially loads of movement, it is great fun. Fishing in whites, chartreuse, just under the surface, it's great to see a fish come six, seven feet off his lie to hammer one of these. But not just them, I'll start off with the basics. Simple little flies that just catch fish. Redhead woolly buggers, a favourite one of mine for coloured water. This is a big, this is a size 4 extra long shank. Yellow woolly bugger, great fly. I'll even go as far as do some mice, some mice videos. I got a load of new camera equipment this year, so I love it's waterproof so I can get on the bank, do some steamer fishing, I want to do some mice fishing at night. When you start looking through my box, we've got standard things like closure minnows. We've also got things like butt monkeys. These are a lot of Kelly Gal flies. This one's been very well used. No weight to it, it's like a sculpin. You fish it, I fish it upstream in the current. Because it's got a big broad head, as soon as you stop stripping it rolls over in the current. Looks like an injured fish. Well also this year, I'm not just going to stick to streamers. I'm going to go through what gear I use, what tackle. I'll go through rods, reels, lines, leader setups, style of fishing. We will also, I also will go into bike fishing as well. These are pig shads. You've got these from Angle and Active. These are the smaller ones. They're awesome. Awesome for pike. We'll go through fishing them. We'll go through fishing big lures on the trawl from the photo tube, from a boat, from the bank. We'll also go through some new products. These are eyes from Deer Creek. These are new ones. Um, Anyone that doesn't know Deer Creek, it is a Welsh company, one man band, North Wales. They do some awesome, pre awesome Predator products. Their eyes are really hard wearing. They do a product called Gloss and Glint, 
which is a synthetic material, doesn't hold water. This is a jig fly for lure fishing, but there's some often awesome new colours of it. This is this is this one's been tied in a brush and wound round. Um we'll go through a few different products. There's loads of new hooks from Erex. Need to go through. We'll even go through, I'll try to, I'm not very good at that, I'm a beginner. My camera setups, what I use for my camera, how I set my photos up, go through what lure fishing gear I use, we'll try and do some drop shotting, we'll try and do some vertical jigging. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get some poppers for pike on the go. These things are... One's a popper, one's a, a diver. They're awesome late spring in the shallows. Um, but I just need to run th try and run through everything, try and keep this updated. Hopefully this new camera equipment will make it easier. Um, and I'll just generally update you in my season. Um, got loads of big plans, so hopefully it'll work out. Need this COVID to calm down. Um, but if you don't if you want to find out more please subscribe i'll keep you updated you'll find me on facebook and instagram under stuart smith fly tying um and i hope to hear from you thank you for watching